Las Vegas is one of the fastest growing cities in the country. Thousands of people are moving here every year. If that's you, then you found the right video. If you're moving to Las Vegas and you're having trouble deciding where you should live, or more importantly, you're having trouble deciding where you shouldn't live, where you should not live in Las Vegas, then this is the video for you because I'm gonna be going over all areas of Las Vegas, all sorts of different communities, and we're gonna be talking about where you should live and more importantly, where you should not live. So stay tuned guys, because we're getting after it right now. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. As I said in the intro, we're gonna be going over all the different places you can live in Las Vegas, but more importantly, we're gonna be talking about those areas that don't fit your lifestyle, those places that you should not be living. If you're moving to Las Vegas, guys, that's what this channel is all about, helping you move to Las Vegas. So if that's something you're interested in, if that's content you wanna see, please hit that like button. It really helps my videos and the algorithm. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. So you're notified every time I put out a new video because I'd hate for you to miss anything at all. And if you don't know me, guys, my name's Tom Radacci. I'm here with the Living in Las Vegas YouTube channel and I'm a local Las Vegas realtor, but let's pop down to the computer and we'll get right into where you should not live in Las Vegas. All right, guys, here we go. So we're in Google Maps and we're about to start going over where to not to live in Las Vegas. So this video is gonna be all about your lifestyle and the kind of things you enjoy doing and that's how we're gonna talk through the city. Uh, so there's a few different parts of the city. For those of you who don't know Las Vegas is a pretty spread out city. It's a couple thousand square miles. It's pretty huge. Um, about 1.2 million people um, are locals in the city, live in the city or live in that Las Vegas metro area as they call it. And uh, let's start talking about the individual sections of the city. And then we'll, from there, we'll dive into each section and talk about lifestyles, areas you can live, different communities, that sort of thing. So First, we'll start off here with North Las Vegas. So North Las Vegas, no joke, sits in the north part of the city. So this is the North Las Vegas area. I'm kind of circling it uh, with my mouse. You'll see there's Nellis Air Force Base over here. So North Las Vegas and this kind of side of the city, uh, you can get a lot of military folks sometimes, but really the military people in general are just kind of spread out through the whole city. So um, nothing for those of you that don't know, the oldest parts of the city, all right, are in the center, are the strip, uh, basically this downtown area here. The farther you go out in any direction, the more newer the homes are going to be, um, and the more new newer the shopping centers and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so let's get right into it, guys. So we're going to kind of zoom in here on the North Las Vegas area. So I live in North Las Vegas. I live over here on the uh, west side of North Las Vegas. So my family and I, my wife and I, we moved here several years ago and we moved to North Las Vegas just because it's a little more affordable, um, but you can still find some amazing houses, but you can find sometimes some better deals in the North Las Vegas area. So that's why we moved there. So if that's something you're looking for, definitely check out North Las Vegas. Still totally safe. Um, we've lived here for years, always in North Las Vegas, never had any problems with neighbors never had any problems with crime, nothing like that. Uh, down in the description, guys, there's gonna be some links to uh, Las Vegas PD and some other websites where you can look up crime and that sort of thing, because uh, if that's important to you, and you know, most people are looking for low crime areas, so if that's like really high on your list, I do recommend go do your own research, uh, figure out the best areas for you, because I, that's not something I can really uh, tell you about, you know, crime. So that's something you need to look out for yourself. Anyways, guys, so here's the North Las Vegas area. You can see there are quite a few parks. All this green space, there are really a ton of parks overall in the city of Las Vegas. I mean, some of these are pretty big, others are really small. So if you have small kids, if you like to take walks in the park, walk your dog, that sort of thing, meet up with friends, you won't have any trouble finding a park to do that in Las Vegas. Gazebos, hosting birthday parties. I was at a birthday party at a park uh, a few weeks ago, and it was absolute blast. We had a gazebo. The gazebo is actually free. You didn't even need to rent it. You just need to show up and put your stuff in it. So if that kind of stuff is important to you, you do a lot of that. You can definitely do that in Las Vegas, and you can do that in any area, um, even North Las Vegas. So. Um, uh, some more information for you guys, and this is not necessarily exclusive to North Las Vegas. Uh, Vegas communities in general 
uh, are built pretty much the same and they look very similar. They have what's ca called like a stucco style home. What's stucco Las Vegas home? We'll just Google it real quick because I want to make sure you guys know what it looks like. Or you know what? Even better, let's just zoom in on one of these streets, right? Let's zoom in. Let's go right here. Drop our little guy in there. Okay, so you see this style of home. You have the exterior stucco, and it's kind of like that brown. There's tan, there's dark brown, there's light brown, there's white houses, but you're going to find a lot of this style home in North Las Vegas and really in any part of the city. Um, you're going to find in general that houses are pretty close together in North Vegas, just like most parts of the city. Yards are generally smaller. Uh, if you do want a larger yard, you're going to want to go with an older style home generally, or you're going to have a really high price point to get into that larger yard. Uh, most of the most of the lots are like a tenth of an acre or maybe 20% of an acre. They're usually pretty small. If you want an acre or a real big yard, five acres, something like that, if you're moving from the East Coast, Pacific Northwest, South, Texas, maybe, and that's something you're more interested in, uh, you definitely have to look at older homes live outside of the city, or you're going to have a really high price point on your house. So just an example, guys, of what houses kind of look like uh, in the area. And see, you can see another one here, closer stucco uh, style home. And they do that because it holds up well in the heat. And uh, you know, it's also very fire resistant. Uh, sorry, guys, had to check my phone for a second with my wife. All right, so now that we're in here, this is the kind of neighborhood you're definitely gonna expect in North Las Vegas. Now, if you're looking for walkability, guys, um, you're gonna find some of that in North Las Vegas, but in general, in the Las Vegas area, the metro area is not really built for pedestrian walkability. Like I said before, the city is really spread out, right? They decided to build out instead of up because uh, it's just a big valley floor. So a lot of these communities, like let's take this community for instance, this little community, you know, a couple hundred houses, you could find yourself living here, probably has one or two entrances, one or two exits, and it's gonna be a lot of those close knit stucco style homes like I showed you earlier. Uh, that's pretty much common. I mean, you can see a lot of these neighborhoods, same thing. One entrance, there's an entrance. There are going to be a lot of that. That's what these neighborhoods are like. Some of them are gated. It's pretty easy to find a gated community in Las Vegas or in North Las Vegas if that's something that interests you. A lot of times you can even find a guard gated community. So if you're really into um, like safety, you want the safest possible community, then a guard gated community might be the way to go. However, you know, do expect to pay more for your monthly HOA because you'll have to pay essentially every one of the communities contributing to that guard salary, right? So he can guard the home and run the gate, all that sort of stuff. Um, let's see. So, yeah, walkability. Walkability, you're not going to find like a ton of walkability um, in the outer edges of the city. Walkability is going to be more thing in the center. And it's going to be more of a thing in, like those master planned communities where shopping centers, malls, are planned already into the community and were built with the community as those new homes were built. So that's not really something you're going to find in North Las Vegas, uh, but you will find plenty of parks. You will find uh, plenty of family friendly neighborhoods, small knit neighborhoods up to big neighborhoods. You'll find uh, gated communities. You'll find easy access to this is uh, 215 Beltway. 15 goes to Salt Lake City and to the center of the city. This is 95 right here. Uh, this goes to Reno, California, that sort of area. And then 15 runs all the way down through North Las Vegas out and goes to California. And then, like I said, 215. So uh, we live up here in the North Las Vegas area. My wife works down here um, at a hospital. And then if you have to say tra travel all the way down to Henderson, maybe you're going to work down here. You can still hop on 215 and get down to Henderson and less than an hour, but that is going to depend on time of day, traffic, that sort of thing. I used to have to drive down to Henderson a lot from our current neighborhood up here a few days a week. Uh, and unfortunately, I had to do that during the peak morning hours and the peak evening hours. And sometimes those drives would turn into about an hour when they were only supposed to be 30 minutes. 
So if traffic something that's important to you, make sure you plan that into where you're going to live. Run a quick Google Maps search on where you think you're going to live, where you think you're going to work, the time you're going to leave, the time you want to arrive, that sort of thing. Google will give you a pretty good idea of what the traffic's going to be. Uh, but yeah, if you're living up here and working in a different part of the city, it's not uncommon to have like a 45 minute or maybe even an hour drive during bad traffic periods. Um, and then there are also a few 55 plus living communities up here, guys. Do a quick search so I can show you where they are. Mm -hmm. So you have Vista Park. So this is a really nice one. Del Webb at North Ranch is a really nice one. This one is uh, brand new. It was just built like, oh man, probably last year. I don't even think it's finished. I think they're still completing it. I know they have some homes available. But this is pretty new. I used to live over here as well. This is the VA hospital. So if you're a vet, uh, I used to live right in this neighborhood here. Shadow Creek Golf Course. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful golf course. Uh, so that's I definitely recommend there. And then, guys, this is the crown jewel park of North Las Vegas, Craig Ranch Regional Park. The park is absolutely huge. I bring my dog here all the time. We're getting a new puppy, by the way. We're going to bring my dogs here all the time. They have fairs. They have all sorts of events. There's uh, miles of walking trails. There's huge green open spaces with grass, actual grass in Las Vegas. Uh, that's beautiful. You can do all sorts of stuff with the family on it. Take the dog for a walk, whatever you need. So if that's something interests you guys, I think North Las Vegas would be a great fit. And it, of course, if you have any questions or comments you can put them down below uh, and i'll definitely get back to you guys if you're getting some value from this video please 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 smash that like button smash that subscribe button it really helps me in the youtube algorithm so i can keep making videos like this for you and keep getting them in front of people who need them uh Aliante discovery park beautiful park tons of ducks uh, but this is really guys like i said i've had no complaints with this area um, there's great gyms up here there's a great grocery store called winco which sits right here next to this Target. And it is phenomenal, guys. They don't take credit cards, so they can keep their costs down. So they take debit and cash. Everything is so cheap. We shop there a couple times a week. We save a ton of money. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you shop at Winco. There's a couple others in the city, and we'll talk about those. And then this is Las Vegas Athletic Club, or LVAC, as it's locally called. It's the best gym in the area. Highly recommend. If you like going to the gym, uh, there's seven or eight locations all over the city. They might be building some more. But in general, guys, I love the North Las Vegas area, and I would highly recommend it. So now let's move west. Let's get out of this. Let's move west. So this is kind of like the Providence area or northern Summerlin area. A lot of new homes being built out here. Tool Springs is a really cool area. It's actually a national monument, so you can go see fossils and that sort of stuff. So that's pretty cool. Uh, if you're big into shooting, you have the Clark County Rifle and Shooting Complex up here, which is pretty awesome. And then another golf course that actually sits on a little Indian reservation right outside the city, the Paiute. Beautiful golf course. Really amazing. Highly recommend it, guys. If you're a big golfer, this area could be for you. And then I think the best part of this area is you get some really stunning mountain views over here if you live on the far west side of the city uh, because, oh yeah, you have Mount Charleston over here. Mount Charleston's just shy of 12,000 feet. I go hiking here all the time. We do overnight hikes for like 8, 10, 12 miles. It's an absolute gorgeous place to go hiking. Uh, so if you live on this west side of the city, you're going to get a lot more of those mountain views. And if this is something that's really important to you, Mount Charleston, um, you have Red Rock National Recreation Area down here. So if you like outdoor recreation, that's big with you. You like getting out of the city and going exploring with the family. I think the best parts about these areas are their higher elevation than the city. So the city is sitting about 2,000 feet above sea level. You can leave the city, drive up to one of these places during the summer, and it'll instantly get you know, 20, 30 degrees cooler instead of being down here in the 100 degree heat in Las Vegas. So uh, me and my family do that all the time to escape the heat. I do it with buddies. We go hiking, hunting. You can go fishing, camping. I mean, the options are endless. If you have like dirt bikes, ATVs, off-road vehicles, you can come out here and ride them all over the place. Uh, so definitely recommend that. And if you want to get really off the grid, guys, you can drive all the way out here to Cold Creek, which is real off-the-grid community. 
a lot of solar, a lot of that sort of stuff, a lot of homes for sale right there right now, and some empty lots if you're looking to buy land. Um, and same thing with Indian Springs. They're building some new homes out here, pretty off the grid. So if that's what you're looking for, we can definitely help you out. Um, so you're going to get a little more of the walkability on this west side because it's a little bit newer. They're building a ton of new homes up in this area. The Sky Canyon homes are pretty popular. Uh, and just a lot of new homes being built in this area, a lot of new families and young people moving into these areas. So you might find some closer knit type families. And like I said, more walkability guys, still really easy access to the 215 Beltway, which runs around the city. Still a ton of really nice parks, places you can go horseback riding in the city, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know how many you horseback ride, but if that's important to you, uh, there are a lot of, uh, excuse me, there are a lot of properties in the city that are zoned for horses. So you can actually have like a separate little, you know, area on your lot uh, where you can put up your, your barn and that sort of stuff and keep your horses with you instead of boarding your horses somewhere else. So that, that could be interesting. You got some um, Santa Fe station, great place to watch movies. Maybe not something we're going to do much after COVID, but still great place to watch movies. Um, and then this Lone Mountain Park right here, guys, highly recommend. This is where that birthday party was, the one with the free gazebo. Beautiful park. They actually have a Frisbee golf course here. So if you Frisbee golf, check it out. There's Frisbee golf courses on a lot of these uh, little parks here spread out throughout the city. And like I said, guys, there's a ton. There's jungle gyms. Oh, another fact. Most of these communities now, because most people don't have lawns or big yards, most of these communities, especially ones that have an HOA, will put uh, tiny little parks inside the community so you can take your kids there to play with jungle gyms oh crap what did i do so one of my favorite we'll just go back to that little area over here that we talked about in north las vegas and i'll show you it's not huge but this little area right here are all walking trails in a park uh, where you can bring the kids they have jungle gyms that sort of stuff and there's a ton of those in every little individual living community so you don't have to worry about really leaving your community in any part of the city to go to a park to play with your kids or to walk your dog anything like that it's all built into the community there's sidewalks everywhere so that's not something to worry about <clears throat> so like i said guys uh better walkability over here still lots of shops bars restaurants you're going to find that in every part of the city uh new families new homes going up it's going to be a little more expensive than North Las Vegas, but that's just because it's newer. And like I said, has more amenities, that sort of thing. Now we're going to move into probably uh, one of the most famous parts of Las Vegas, and that is the Summerlin area. So Summerlin is, let me see, right here. This is all Summerlin and Summerlin is one giant master planned community. And that basically means everything is planned down to the T. All the I's are dotted, all the T's are crossed. Everything is meticulous. Uh, so Summerlin is broken up into a bunch of different little neighborhoods. I will put, oops, excuse me. I will link down in the description uh, to some of the Sum Summerlin city websites where you can see all the different communities and they all are gonna have a little bit different styles of living. They're all gonna have different amounts of walkability, different parks, different trails. There are literally hundreds of miles of trails, several hundred tiny parks within Summerlin. It is a big family destination. Um, it's generally considered, oh, Corey, calm down. Sorry, that was my dog. Generally considered a pretty safe area to live. Very new. Uh, Summerlin hasn't been around for that long. Some of the neighborhoods in Summerlin are very new. Some are a little bit older, but in generally the homes are are very new um, and they're still building some new homes. So if you want an absolutely brand new home and you want to get one in Summerlin, you can definitely get that done. But like I said, guys, ton of different little neighborhoods, all of their different price points, all different living areas. Uh, Sun City Summerlin is pretty popular. There are also some really gorgeous 55 plus communities here. A lot of 55 plus communities over here in Summerlin, guys. So if that's something that interests in you, maybe uh, you're moving out here to be closer to your family, or maybe you live here already and you're moving your family out with you and they wanna live in like a 55 plus community, can totally get that done. One of the best parts of Summerlin or just this area in general, you have easy access to Red Rock. Uh, again, I go here in the summer all the time. You can escape some of the Vegas heat, miles of hiking trails. If you're more of just a driver, they have this 13 mile scenic loop right here. 
uh, where you can pay a few bucks and then you drive this loop. You can stop and park along the way if you want, access all these different trails, uh, and you can get really back into some crazy peaks, some crazy wilderness here, guys. Really get off the map. If that's important to you and you want easy access to that, I definitely recommend the Summerlin area or the Southwest area. But really, because of the 215 Beltway and all these interstates, you're really never too far from the outdoors uh pretty much anywhere in nevada you're always going to be pretty close to the outdoors so if that's something that interests you definitely uh check out summerlin and if you have really high price points say like million two million four million dollars you can even find those homes in the summerlin area you're going to find some of the homes in the northwest you're not really going to find homes like that in north las vegas uh, maybe a few but in general that's going to be kind of on here on the west side and then maybe down in this area, but we'll talk about those areas later. Uh, all right, guys, so let's move on. Oh, wait, one more thing, sorry, before we move on, let's see if we can find it. So uh, another one of the most amazing parts of Summerlin is what's called downtown Summerlin, which is right here, right next to Red Rock Casino, right next to this beautiful golf course. There's beautiful, beautiful million dollar homes down here, guys, absolutely gorgeous. So downtown Summerlin is this amazing little shopping center. I shouldn't say little, amazing outdoor shopping center. All the eyes are dotted, T's are crossed. It's beautiful. And a lot of it is within easy walking distance of Summerlin or even easier driving distance of Summerlin or any part of the city. So if you like to shop, uh, they have some amazing shops. They have some amazing bars, restaurants. They have a farmer's market, I think, uh, once or twice a week, year-round, in one of the uh, huge uh, gazebos. I don't even know if it's—I don't even know if you'd call it a gazebo, really. In one of the huge areas, um, huge buildings there. It's all walk-through. Uh, been there and bought veggies and fresh honey and all sorts of stuff before. So, if that's something that interests you guys, downtown Summerlin is definitely, definitely on your list. And in general, right in here, you're gonna have more walkability. Uh, you can have lots of like little coffee shops, um, of course, parks. You're gonna have great views of the west side mountains of the city. It's really just an amazing place to live. Highly, highly, highly recommend. If you're a big golfer, you have uh, TBC Las Vegas right here, professional course. They do um, some events every year, like the Shriners Open, it's a charity event. Um, so if you're a big golfer, maybe check them out. All right, let's move to the north, uh, sorry, southwest area of the city. Again, gonna have a lot of new construction down here. I was just here a week or two ago for an open house, beautiful little home down here. A lot of new construction. You get a lot of the same beautiful mountain views and you get a lot of the same little parks spread out through the area. Same kind of design guys, same stucco homes, um, smaller yards, closer together homes, kind of that type community feel. Uh, you can totally find guarded communities, guard gate communities, million dollar properties, all that you can find here. Highly recommend. And you're going to have close, easy access to McCarran International Airport. Now, I will say if you live in some other parts of the city and you need to access the airport, which is right here, uh, during some of those peak hours, you can get stuck in traffic. That's a possibility. Uh, but for the most part, it's pretty easy to access the airport no matter where you are. But if you live in the southern part of the city, it's even easier. You just have to worry a little bit more about the noise of planes flying over and that sort of thing. Uh, but, you know, that can all be dealt with. So you're going to find some great family-friendly communities down here. You're going to find some good schools, find great schools in Summerlin. Uh, you can find great schools in North Las Vegas. The way schools work out here, guys, there's, uh, I suppose I should probably talk about this earlier, but there are all sorts of different kinds. There's just normal public schools, there's private schools, there's charter schools, there's private schools that you have to get into with a lottery, there's public schools you have to get into on a lottery system. Um, and then the buses just kind of pick kids up from central locations. They don't go into the housing developments. So kids usually have to walk a little bit or sometimes they just walk directly to the school because the schools are just dispersed throughout the neighborhood. I'll put down below in the description um, some links to some websites where you can look up the different schools in the area because really, guys, you can find good schools in every part of the city. It just takes some looking um, and it might take some extra work to get your kids into those schools, depending on the type of school it is, magnet schools, some of them have, you know, engineering themes, uh, STEM themes, computer themes, theater themes, 
all that sorts of stuff. Uh, so if you're moving here with kids and that's really important to you, you just got to do your research to try to find the best schools in whatever area you want to live in. Or sometimes, you know, you can live in, in one area and send your kids to school in another. It just might cost you some more money. So my kids aren't in school right now. They're only one years old. So I can't speak too much to that. Uh, so I'll have to let you guys do the research. But comment down below what you find out about schools. If you have any questions, I will definitely help you help you out. Guys, if you're still watching and you're getting some value from this, please, please, please smash that like button, that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I put out a new video. All right, we'll continue here and more of the southern part of the city. So you have Silverado Ranch, Seven Hills, um, and then Green Valley is a really popular area of the city very nice area you can find some very luxurious homes up in the you know million plus price point down to some like more reasonably priced three hundred thousand dollar homes 350 400 that sort of thing uh so if that's what you're looking for guys great areas ton of like i said more little parks this is a gorgeous little park sunset park uh, i used to work down here a lot and would always visit sunset park it's a gorgeous little park same 215 Beltway, easy access to everything. Same stucco, tight-knit communities, that sort of stuff. You also have more water down here, guys. You have the Clark County Wetlands Park that's not too far away. Um, and so you'll have some streams and some things running through the area, which you're not going to see in most other areas of the city. I mean, there are lakes uh, or man-made, I should say, man-made ponds in other areas of the city that are stocked with fish. So if you want to fish, you can definitely check those out. Um but you won't really be able to do any boating on these because they're smaller. And we'll talk about boating and kind of water sports in a minute. Um, but easy access to the airport, same family feel, same great schools you can find if you do a little research. And same uh, gorgeous views. You're just going to get some different views over here. You're going to kind of see uh, Sunset Mountain, which is over in this area. And you're going to look at Sloan Canyon National Conservation Area. So you're going to have some mountain views in your east and your south direction. Um, and then also maybe you work in California, there's MP materials down here, which is, uh, right down here in mountain pass, which is the, uh, I think it's the only rare earth mineral or rare earth element mine in the United States. Uh, so maybe you work down there. They just reopened. This would be a great place for you to live and raise a family. Great. Like I said, great schools, easy access, all that sort of stuff. Now, guys, we're kind of getting out of Las Vegas, but we're getting into the Henderson area, which is another small little city here. And again, pretty, pretty popular area. Henderson also going to have a lot of new homes. Uh, Henderson's actually um, a pretty old city. So you're going to have a range of brand new homes to some pretty old homes that were built many years ago, maybe 50, 60 years ago. Um, you know, there's not, nothing against older homes. The older homes are still 100 percent. Completely, totally livable, and some people love living in old homes. I used to live in a really old home, and you know, I recommend it. No, no bad things about living in old homes, really, as long as the upkeep of the house was taken care of. So, Henderson can be a fantastic place to live. You're gonna have uh, more of those views, and you're gonna have really easy access to Lake Mead National Recreation Area, which is the largest recreation area in the country. So, you're definitely gonna be able to hear. Uh, and do a lot of boating. This is the Colorado River, guys. And if you don't know, this is the Hoover Dam over here. So if you uh, like visiting the Hoover Dam often, you want to take the kids there, you got a boat. This is really easy access to all that sort of stuff. And then if you can continue following this, you get to the Grand Canyon, which is pretty cool. So maybe you work in Arizona. So you have really easy access to Arizona down the uh, 11, which turns into 93. And then maybe, guys, you want like a very luxurious, real private home feel. And you can find that here in Lake Las Vegas. Um, you have this lake. You can do all sorts of water sport activities. Um, just absolutely gorgeous, 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 beautiful homes up here. Close to the Clark County Wetlands Park, uh, which is also a little bit cooler in the summer. Really nice place to take the kids for a walk. It's all paved. You'll see a lot of birds and different kinds of fish and animals and stuff. Really cool. Uh, you have the Calabunga Water Park. Some people I know have year passes to this to help, or annual passes to this to help just cool off in the summer. Uh, and then what else, guys? What else? That's about the whole city. Oh, here we go. And then we have the east side. East side, you're going to find uh, more of those older homes. There's not much that not as much new construction over here. And you're going to find a little more, more walkability to businesses. Uh, and then you're going to have Sunrise Mountain over here, which is going to be a gorgeous view. And you're going to have some views over here to the west. And you're going to be able to look out across the whole city. 
This North Las Vegas is one of the highest elevation parts of the city, guys. So if you like being up here, you'll be able to see quite a bit of the city. Um, but that's about the whole city, guys. I'm not going to talk too much about the center because uh, it's dominated dominated mostly by um, small businesses, big businesses, casinos, that sort of thing. So if you're living from, looking for more like an apartment, a high rise feel, a condo area, I mean, you can find those in any parts of the city. Uh, if you're looking for those on a budget, I definitely recommend more of the center parts of the city. If you're looking for walkability, if you like to go out more, bars, restaurants, if you like to party a lot, uh, which is what Vegas is known for, guys. No problems with that at all. You might want to be looking more in the center of the city because that's where more of that stuff is. The outside of the city is more for uh, families, small, tight-knit communities, uh, less businesses interspersed with homes. So that's what the outside is. Inside is more that business, um, tourism, casino kind of stuff. But still totally livable. You can totally find great living here. Um, and you have... I know a couple sports teams. You got the uh, Raiders that moved here. You have T-Mobile Arena. That's all down here, guys, right next to the Strip. This is the Strip. These are the casinos, all that sort of area. Uh, so if that's important to you, you can find some great condos down here near where they're building the stadiums. Um, those are about to shoot up in price, I'm sure, with all the new teams and everything coming. And you have the Golden Knights. You come and watch the Golden Knights. But uh, that's about the whole city, guys. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please put them down in the uh, comment section. I will get to every single comment. I promise I'll answer all your questions. And if you need anything else, guys, please look me up. If you're moving to Las Vegas, um, my number is probably popping up on the screen right now. My contact information will be down below. I would love to help you move here. That's what I'm passionate about. So I put out these videos just to help people move here. Because I love the city, I'm raising a family here, and it's just an absolutely amazing place to be. You're living in a literal paradise where the weather is beautiful, like over 300 days a year. So if that's something you're interested in, guys, and you're moving here, please look me up. I'll promise to have your back the whole way. Thanks so much for tuning in, y'all. Stay tuned for the next video, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.